What's going on guys, Alex Fernandez here coming to you with a Q&A video. Now today in this video, I'm going to cover some fitness related questions mostly. However, there are a few questions about my clothing preferences as well as what kind of camera I use. Please remember to hit that like button and if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button so you guys never have to miss out on my quality game changing fitness tips that I have coming your way. Now let's get into it with question number one. How can I bulk up better when I have to do so much running and cardio for my job? Now I could dedicate an entire video to this and maybe I will in the future, but the short and condensed version is you need to be eating more. Now this is due to the fact that cardio naturally causes you to expend many, many calories. And so you need to be able to replace those and then put your body into a surplus in order to have the energy and the nutrients needed to create more muscle. And along with that, you wanna be still incorporating a lot of heavy weight training whenever you have time at least three times a week so that it begins to optimize muscle growth okay so question number two what are good supplements for a minimal approach I hate to think I have to buy so many in order to see results so my current supplement stack is a protein powder and a creatine powder now I don't necessarily believe that you need to be investing in BCAAs and test boosters and other over-the-counter items and supplements because they give you such a negligible effect at least in my experience that it's not really worth the money that you're dishing out the almost sixty dollars at gnc for for each item but i've seen great results with creatine in that it hydrates my muscle keeps water in there so that i have more surface area in order to push heavier loads and also and also the science behind them having to do with the atp having that extra energy in order to get an extra rep or two with a certain weight so that you're working the muscle harder longer greater time under tension and the protein powder i just supplement in the morning because i usually do four or five raw eggs and then the protein powder to mask the flavor and sometimes it's hard with my job just on the move all the time to be able to eat the right amount of protein so it's a great boost to my macro numbers so question number three i'm skinny and i can't build muscle it's not really a question, but I'll answer it. The topic that I love to touch upon because I started out as a 145, six foot two high school kid. And for the past five and a half years, I've come up to 210 being my heaviest. Right now I'm sitting at 200 and I'm continuing to cut down to 195. And what helped me to gain this weight was just eating more. And my two main tips for being able to get more calories and more importantly, get enough protein is to number one, purely quit being a about it and just eat until it hurts and then eat a little bit more and eventually your body will begin to start craving it's kind of like eating breakfast for the first time like when you start your day skipping breakfast when you try to eat it makes you sick but then over time you know after a couple weeks of eating breakfast every single day you wake up super hungry so it's a similar concept in that your, your appetite starts to rise as it anticipates that volume of food the second way that you could do it is drink your calories so as I said earlier in this video I like to do a scoop of protein powder and four or five raw eggs that boosts my calories up, boosts my protein up, and it's really easy to have a shake on the side along with your two or three burgers or two or three chicken breasts. And also the caloric density in food, you can be mindful and conscious of that so that you're not eating as much volume in order to get the calories so you're not feeling as full as quickly. Next question is, could you recommend a couple good pair of joggers you like? I need some for working out and love to see what joggers you use to get my own, thank you. Now lately I've been liking the Alpha Clothing joggers. I can't remember the name of the exact line that they are, I think they have two or three kind of styles, but it's the one with the zipper on the leg. Right out of the box, those are super comfortable, super soft, and in my opinion, they look great. And I've been wearing the same pairs for about two or three years now, and they don't really look very worn out, washing them in regular cycles and everything like that. So if I were to recommend a pair out of my own personal experience, it would be that line. Again, it's Alpha Clothing. They also have really comfortable shirts. But also I've been seeing some Alpha Beat joggers out there in the gym, and I like the styling of those. I like how they look. I haven't gotten myself a pair yet in order to be able to say whether they're comfy or not. But if you're looking for style, those will be my two Alpha Clothing and Alpha Beat. Next question, what kind of camera do you use? I wanna up my quality for my videos on Instagram. So the camera that I use is a G7X Mark II. It's a little bit on the pricey side. I think the actual camera runs about 500 and then after tax and warranties, it's so closer to 700. In my experience, if you try to cheap out on a camera, you're only going to post videos that you aren't fully confident in. And for me, the cheaper options didn't turn out exactly how I envisioned. So I ended up spending more in the long run anyway, instead of getting the kind of camera that I really needed. If I had to do it all over again, I would just go for the camera that I needed being the G7X. All right guys, so that's it for the q and Hopefully you all enjoyed it and got a lot out of it. Please, once again, hit that like button if this video helped you out. And if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. Hope you guys enjoyed the video once again. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.